If you want to learn how to use Simpler in Ableton Live, follow these steps. First of all, you should go to Instruments. And because the version of Ableton that I use only has Simpler, this is a sampler instrument that when you click into the MIDI track, it says drop sample here. You should select any sample, go to the samples, and here's a huge list of samples. But I want to pick something more simple, like a kick sound or maybe a bass, just to try how it looks like. Let's start with, for example, this one. Oh, this is so strong. You can select any sample you want. If you don't want the bass, you can select guitar, pad, strings, voice, and anything else that can be a sample. So, I will pick something much more dynamic. Okay, I like this guitar sound. So, let's continue with this instrument. When you put a sample in the simpler instrument, you have these three features. Classic, which plays the instrument or a sample as long as you hold the key on your keyboard. There is one shot, it will play the entire sample. And there is also slice but the slice feature would most likely work if you have multiple samples. It will only work if you have something like this, a sound that contains multiple variations of sound that can be split. It can split the sample automatically, but you can drag this to adjust the slice. And if you try to play right now, you can only play it if you put computer keyboard to C1, Use Z and X, and until it says your current octave is C1, then you can play with the sliced sample. This will work much better if you have some kind of drum kit. It doesn't need to be a drum loop. It can be something like a guitar loop, for example. And it will slice the sample like this. You can play it by pressing the keys and it will be a different note. Alright, let's go back. I want to select the sound that I loaded at the beginning. Let's move to some other features. This time I want to teach you how to use all the parameters of the simpler instrument. The trigger and gate are only used in slice. In classic you have the gain to adjust the gain of the sample. If you put the gain to a high number it will be distorted and loud. So I would suggest you to put a lower number to make sure that the sample won't go into distortion. The start is the beginning of the sample. In this kind of sampler instrument, it begins the sample from 547, which is the number I selected. And to make this sample much clearer, I would suggest you to put start to zero. The length is the length of the sample. If you put the length back to, for example, 1, it will play only, only until it reaches the gray zone. So, enlarge the length if you want to have a longer sample. But it will stop, so I don't recommend you to do this. You can adjust the fade if you put loop. Now, adjust the fade like this and you have to put the loop parameter to, for example, 50%, which is what I will set right now. So here's what will happen. The sample is looping with a fade. Move the fade to the right. Make it 
around 80%, and here's how it will sound like. I'll try a higher octave. Playing this on a higher octave will make the sample play so fast. So, make sure that you put the warp option. But right now, the fade won't work in the warp. You can select the mode to like this. It will move forward and backward. This one will only move forwards. So, if you want beat warping, this is the default option. If you want the texture, here is what it will sound. This is a cool feature if you want some grain size and flukes to the sample. Alright, let's move to the next parameters. The frequency is the cutoff frequency. Let's try with some smaller frequency. This is the resonance parameter. It will work better in the controls menu. The controls menu will modify these two parameters by dragging this circle. If you drag this circle and it looks like this, here's what it will sound like. This will increase the resonance of the sound. but it also adds some frequency that you won't like to hear. So, if you want to make the EQ much more prevalent, put it to 12. This will add some fade out in the frequency menu. If you don't like the loop, you can disable, and here's how it will sound like. So, make sure that the sample is longer, if you want this kind of experimental sound. So, adjusting these parameters, attack, is already explained in one of the previous videos. Attack will pretty much add the attack rate, the sample will be fading in until it begins. Ok, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I will make more music production tutorials about certain features like instruments, drums, audio effects and many more. Stay tuned and happy producing! Goodbye!